Hey there guys, and welcome to a tutorial on the best render settings for Sony Vegas. Um, so I know a lot of you guys have probably been looking for hours and hours, looking for what the best render settings for Sony Vegas are. Uh, if you want to get um, really good quality, like say you're doing Minecraft or something like that, and you want to get the best quality possible, uh, you're going to be want to be using something called H.264. Um, what this is, is it's a uh, codec that you use to render and uh, you kind of render it through AVI and I know when you hear AVI you're probably like oh god I hate AVI so much but honestly if you use this codec you can really just make your videos amazing um, even the big youtubers all the minecrafters out there like I don't know I don't captain sparkles and I don't know RPM I don't know all those guys they use h.264 okay so this is the best tutorial you're going to be able to find out there. Uh, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 12, and let's get started. So, uh, here's the link. I have the link down in the description, uh, SourceForge, and we want to find a later date, uh, X264. This is X264, but it's pretty much the same as uh, H264. So, I want you to click on the, uh, the link that they have here, and they're going to have all these uh, links that they have. Um, now, the 2013 one, I'm not sure why, but if you download it, it doesn't seem to work. I'm not sure if that's just my computer, uh, but I've heard a lot of people saying that the, the most recent one doesn't work as well. So I'd recommend maybe going to a uh, 2011 date, or maybe even at the 2010 date. But uh, just install one of them, and I'll show you how. Uh, click on one like this, and then it'll automatically install. I'm sure you guys can do that. Uh, but anyway... Here we have Sony Vegas. Once you've installed it properly, uh, the thing you want to do is I'll grab just uh, some random clip that I have. I'll just drag it in. Uh, this is some Minecraft. Uh, I know Minecraft isn't, I mean, the most graphically intense game out there, but you know it's it's definitely uh, a well-watched video uh, game. So um, I'm guessing you guys know what the best quality looks like. Uh, so what I did did right there was just uh, turn on turn off disable or er, turn on disable resample because that make it causes ghosting and it makes things look really terrible and yeah uh, you also want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio if you have any black bars that'll just eliminate that uh, and that should be about it but for the most part the things that we want to focus on is the render as so just go to file render as and I already have a preset I called it H H.264 HD YouTube uh, but essentially what we want to do is we have all these different things, uh, all these different uh, different ways to render, or all these different files and stuff like that. We want to look for is videos for Windows AVI. So you open that up, and you you can really choose from any of the list. What I'd recommend is you use HD 720 uh, 50p. Okay, so we'll click Customize Template, and it's going to bring this up. And uh, I'll just kind of pull you through the settings that you want to use. So uh, HD 720, 1280 by 720, that's good. Uh, I would recommend doing NTSC 30, F 30 frames per second. Uh, now it's 29.97, but that's kind of like the standard. I don't know why we use that. Uh, but also, it's kind of worthless to go into 60 frames, uh, just because YouTube only actually uploads in 30 frames per second anyway. So it, it's kind of useless. Uh, field order, just keep that at none. Pixel aspect ratio at one. Uh, our video format this is the most important part is we want to use the X264 or the H.264 codec. So we'll configure this. Um, so there's all these settings you can choose from. Uh, so what I have is super fast preset. What that's going to do is just speed it up the, the rendering time. If I have a 20 minute video, I think I can render it in 15 minutes. Uh, it depends on your computer. My computer is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, and then my profile, I have it at high. And then I leave the level at auto and the tuning at none. Uh, you can, if you, if you really want the best quality, you can tune it to animation. But I haven't really messed with that quite yet. Uh, you can do fast decode if you want. I have it unchecked just because I don't see any use for it. Zero latency. I can't tell you enough how important this is. If you do not check that off, you're gonna have your your audio is gonna be out of sync with your video. You're just gonna have a really terrible time. So just remember, check that zero latency. So check it, okay? Um, the next thing is, uh, there's all these, all these different rate controls. CQP, I noticed, is really good quality, 
except it renders in a really high bitrate so when you go on YouTube and you view it, view it in HD uh, it's it's pretty hard to run even if you have pretty good internet uh, but the, for those guys that don't have decent internet just give them a chance to watch your video in HD uh, so I would recommend either using CRF rate factor or bitrate based ABR so ABR I would recommend around let's say 9000 would be a good number 9000 um, and if you want to use CRF I'd recommend around 14 they're pretty much the same haven't really noticed that big of a difference uh, the file size might be smaller with the bitrate based but that's something you're gonna want to have to toy with but for right now I'm using uh, CR CRF uh, and that's at 14 uh, uh, now a lot of you guys are gonna like drag it to one be like I want the best quality you're gonna have really good quality but if you want a like a 20 or 30 gig video um, I just don't really recommend it okay so for the output down here we have the don't worry about this because file does absolutely nothing VFW is your output mo output mode and then for the VFW 4CC you want to put it to lowercase x264 uh, now I know you're probably thinking this is a tutorial on h264 right why wouldn't I put it there uh, what I the reason why is because at the end of my videos I have an outro and I put my old edited video clips into that and so if you were to use h264 you can't reuse them after you've rendered them so essentially you can't edit the video anymore if you've already rendered it um, I don't know if you guys really care about that the quality is not any different uh, but if say you wanted to edit your pre your ah. so you want to edit your pre-rendered video then you can't really do that with uh, H.264 but you can do it with lowercase x264 there's no quality difference but just a little something that I've I've noticed or used um, so yeah anyway that kind of finishes up the video bit of this. Uh, the audio, do not change that. Doesn't really matter. The audio is kind of just depending on how your audio is. Like if your mic's good and all that. Um, and the last thing is you want to go to project, and at the top it's going to say video rendering quality, and you want to put that at best. And what that's going to do is just make the best quality possible, and it's going to look pretty sweet. So now what we want to do is just click OK uh, and favorite it and I would customize it and just let's say we call it YouTube HD uh, H.264 there you go so we'll save that okay and favorite it so that way when you click show favorites only it's only a have your two um, so I'll click the render button and it's gonna get going and I'll skip to the part where we're done and I'll show you the video Okay guys, so the video has finished rendering and for right now I think that'll finish up the video. Uh, so I'd like to thank you guys very very much for watching. I hope you guys have learned a lot from this tutorial. I have spent so much time uh, trying to find the best way to render out. I've tried WMV, I've tried MOV, I've tried everything. And this was the one that really kind of tipped me off said this is, this is pretty good quality. Uh, so for now, I think that'll wrap it up for today. So I'd like to thank you guys very very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this one I'll see you guys later bye bye and before I let you go video is gonna play in a second so you guys can see the true quality of this video make sure you check it out in HD see you guys later bye bye